Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video here on Chance Valley. So yeah, first things first we are gonna get the case Oh no it is loaded up, I forgot what this map. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, we're fine volume wise. So yeah, first job then we'll be planting the onions. Oh, and we've already had a collision. This is a bit awkward. <laughs> Come in. So yeah, that's a potato field. But we're going to be doing onions, I think. I don't know why we're doing onions or carrots. Probably carrots, actually. But I'd actually better quickly check what actually harvests onions and carrots and stuff. So we'll just pull over up here. I know it's possibly still a bit in the way. But, you know. Okay, they are actually different ones. And to least them, only 5,000. I also want to know, meat tech wise, what is, yeah, the multi fruit one. Okay, so I think, yeah, we will do carrots because, well, I feel like doing that instead. So the plan was onions, but it's carrots now. And we're doing the two small our fields as carrots. So obviously we only have well I know we have four arable fields, so let's look at what's in field seven. And then maybe might get something done on that field today, but I don't know. Sorry about being a bit in the middle of the road there, I wasn't really paying attention. See so yeah, I'm just trying to get a bit of a backlog again because well I got a bit and then yeah I've been unable to record the last couple of nights because my sisters have friends over that kind of thing and never stopped having friends over it was just continuously getting them to come up because she knows that I want to record so she hasn't got any up right now so I've started recording yeah I'm gonna pay more attention I think So yeah, it's these two fields in here. What field will we do first? Probably field number 10, because, well, it's our one that we've never really worked in at all before. Hmm. Might need to go a bit kind of one to the other road. kind of regret taking the front weight now. In it is surprisingly big on this as well. Front linkage extends out quite a bit. Right, so we need to open the gate for field 10. There we go. So I'm not sure what way this gate opens, I'm just hoping into the field. Yeah, it is. Obviously, once we get in, we will have to close it up again. No, I'm gonna get a quick screenshot. There we go. So that is probably today's thumbnail, but I did have no idea. Also doesn't help with this thing as massive hitboxes compared to what you can see on the machine. So yeah. That is car it's going into the ground. If I check now, this what colour will it be? Looks like it's going to be an orange. I believe. Yep. So it's all working correctly looking at this. Which is nice, obviously.
So obviously this is gonna hopefully be a high yielding crop because well started off in a plowed field and all that texture's gone really weird there because it turned the corner a bit. So obviously it's an already plowed field and also it's getting fertilised as it's putting in which does help a fair bit normally. It's already half fertilized, which is nice. So, yeah, it's about not speaking very much, just can't really think of much to say. Obviously, it is good that we're getting carrots into the ground. And also, this drill is a lot wider than I thought. Yeah, you can see on the thing that it's turning orange. No, that's wrong, man. You. Let me be in there. Oh, it's actually 9 meter, and I thought it was 6. Yeah, no wonder it's taking pretty much no time. A little bit turned off there. So obviously, carrots is a root crop, a bit like sugar beet and potatoes and stuff. So we'll have to pick it with the Teradoss multi fruit. But yeah, on the day this is recorded, well, so this is going up on Saturday, this is being recorded on a Friday. So I've been looking at Flat Sheet Friday and I'm quite excited because well, we're actually welcoming McCormack into the game. Which will be nice. And also I've seen a half pipe trailer, which is also quite nice. A nice class Axion 800, which will be base game. So obviously that is a massive improvement from having to get DLC for it. So yeah, I've already pre-ordered FS22 on Steam. And yeah, anybody wants to know more about Fact Sheet Friday, if you have Facebook or Twitter or anything, you can find Giant Software on that and then they also post stuff about it. But also on their website, if you go into blog, it will have stuff about Fact Sheet Friday. And then you can look through at all the machines, well, from every time once you find any Fact Sheet Friday. Well, I would recommend looking at the most recent one because that's how you'll get most up to date information. So, basically, what Fact Sheet Fred is is they upload some pictures of different machinery that is going to be in the game and it kind of just slowly releases information about the game, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's all about machinery. So we've seen, I think it was fertilizer palette, don't remember what brand it was, but yeah, we've seen stuff like McCormack, Class, Cramp or Crampe, however you pronounce it. That's who made the half pipe tipper that I'm talking about. So, yeah, obviously a lot, lot, lot of different stuff on offer. Uh, we've seen the, don't remember what brand it was, but it was a rock picker of some description. Which does look quite exciting. So yeah, I don't believe we've got... Uh, over the amount of time left on this series, I think we're, we're probably more than halfway, but I don't remember. I think we have just over 20 episodes on this. Also, please do let me know in the comments what you're thinking of the new Sandy Bay Public Work series. Quite enjoying recording it, and yeah, the first video seemed to get quite kind of 
better kind of reputation than the other ones, like better analytics. So yeah, I'm hoping that it's going to be a big success. That it got a much higher average view, like view time and duration, which is quite nice. So yeah, thank you very much for watching that. Talking about first this one, not sure about Friday's one because well, this being recorded on Friday at. Well, 20 past 7 so obviously it hasn't been uploaded yet well actually I was planning to do two fields as carrots I'm kind of wondering about actually getting a small more and baler and stuff and actually doing alfalfa or clover because well it's something different and I do actually feel like doing something different so if I, yeah I think that's what we'll be doing next so I'm not sure if we'll even make a profit out of this field you know there's a chance but it's unlikely but still the amount of money we have, this is actually more about the experience really than trying to gain money. Well, it's still quite easy to blow it all, we do have just over a million. Which is, in FS standards, not an absolute ton. You know, that is a fair bit. But it isn't crazy, crazy. You know, it's still a bit, but. You know, you can easily earn it. So yeah, that's all that field done. So I don't know how to do alfalfa or clover. Uh, why not? We'll do some alfalfa. If any of them are actually on this. Hmm, they're not. Or should we do something completely different? Miss Campus, I'm not sure what that is. Actually, millet and spelt are quite different. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think. Why not? We'll do something different when we think about what we're gonna actually be putting in. Yeah, this is quite extremely tight. You can see there's nothing on that fence post, but it is still blazing. Well, that's a wheel actually stuck on it. There we go. Finally out of there. forgot about the invisible collision. That is like the only problem that I found with this drill. I think it would be quicker to go up through Falmerdam. No, Falmerdam, however you pronounce that. Instead of going all the way along the motorway. And also probably quite a bit safer as well. Look as well, we aren't putting at risk by wild random artex oh, and I have gone the wrong way so ignore that because yeah if an artex hits you then it does send you flying and if you hit a wall then apparently it doesn't damage you uh oh artex coming come on faster 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 tractor I'm not moving over for him he can wait He is gaining on us. It's not going to work, Mr. Truck. Yep, just go right through us. I mean, it's different. 
Okay, so it doesn't actually have proper collisions. There's cause for that. Oh, that's grass grown back. Well, quite a bit of. So yeah, obviously, it's going pretty well. Yeah, we're certainly getting a bit done in this episode. Actually, I think tractor should do with a wash before we choose what we're doing next. Right, that should be good enough. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do really, but I'm not wanting to do any more planting because well obviously that takes ages and it can be quite a kind of boring thing to do too much of. And we could cut some more grass, but well I to be honest cannot be bothered. Actually, you know, we will. I think we're gonna cut in along here. How well it'll grow back, I don't know. But why not? We are currently trying to kind of do the yard up, of the, as you will know. Right, get rid of any grass that could be cut, stuff like that. Yeah, for some reason this one is no longer filling up. Which confuses me. I think it must just be mulching it. Nah, uh, still worth kind of tidying up. Yeah, this thing has a safety feature. It basically means whenever you lift the deck, then it turns off. As you can see, I will show you. When it's down, it can be on, but as soon as it goes up, then, well, obviously, slowly slows down. You know, it isn't the fastest to ever at slowing down. But you know, it does slow down a bit. Please ignore all the noise. That's just my mum and sister being as annoying as possible. Yeah. I told them I was recording and not to make an overly amount of noise. You wouldn't think it. So yeah, I think, all in all, I'm going to leave a bit of it because, well, there's a lot of scrap in it and yeah, I don't really want to cut up any scrap metal or brick with the more. So I have a feeling that that would hurt it slightly. Because, well, obviously, it isn't meant for processing bricks. Yeah, you can see how long some of this grass is. So, 
So yeah, I hope you guys have all enjoyed today's video. And yeah, bye for now.